Hey friends, it's Christy back with you on the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using the new set by Stacey Yakula called Positive Vibes. So cute. I have stamped the images I'll be using on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock with Extreme Black Hybrid ink, and I'm going to be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm going to start with the larger of the two pups that I'm using in my little scene here. And for this one, I'm going to use W00 with E70 and E71. Starting with that E71 and laying in some shadow down the back. But I want to color this dog a little bit differently today. I want to give him a really unique personality. So I'm going to do, be doing some color blocking with some of the shades. And then also giving him some little spots and dots all over his body. So I'm doing that with the E71, adding some onto his tail and his face, up around his muzzle, just wherever I think they should go. And then I'm going to blend that out with the W00. So his ear will be more solid, and I'm going to give him kind of like a stripe down his back, and then the little spots on the rest of him. And um, just making sure that I soften those with the W00 as well. And I decided to give him a larger patch on one of his front legs with the E71 and then the E70 and blend it out. And then a few more spots just until I was happy with how he was looking. For the smaller dog, I decided to go with some cool grays. I'm using C0, C1, and C3. Starting with the C3 and doing any shadows, so on his face, which is turned completely forward, it's about even on both the left and the right, but his body is shifted more facing to the left, so I'm putting his shadows more heavily on the right hand side. So I'm just blending all of that out, and then I'll add a little C1 to the lower part of his face as well. And then I'm going to give these guys some blush and color in the smaller dog's ears using RV10 and RV11. I felt like that needed just a bit more blending though, so I did grab the RV00 and just went around that as well and then blended out the ears. I'm also going to hang on to these shades and color in the outer part of the dog bed. So I'm starting with the RV11 again and just laying in some shadow, kind of drawing attention to the little dips and wrinkles in the fabric. And I'm going to work on just the front part first and then I'll go back and do the inside. So once I have that, I'm going to blend that out with the RV10 and just soften up that RV11 a bit, and then I'll use the RV00 to fill in the front part so it has a nice highlight. And then I'll do the inner part, not the bottom, I wanted that to be a different fabric, but the back part. And I'm going to be a little bit heavier handed with that RV11, drawing out each of those sections, because it wouldn't get as much light hitting it on the inside. So I'm blending that out with the RV10 and then using that RV00 for the highlight. And then I'm just going to go in and color in the little stitching edge with the RV11. I'm just going to color that part in solid. When I'm finished with that, I'm going to continue on with the pink vibes, but I'm going to darken up my combo by keeping the RV11 and adding in the RV13 and RV14. And I'm going to do the collar on the little dog and the bandana on the larger dog. So I just wanted a very simple color palette for today, very soft and pink and it's going to really allow those little pups to shine. I'm going to also do the dog bowl with these shades using that RV14 on the outer edges, the left and the right, and blending toward the center with the RV13 and then the RV11. And then to darken that up even farther, I'm going to take away the RV11 and add in the RV17 to do the little tennis ball. Then I'm going to switch to E50 and E51 for the bone, 
And I'll also use these shades for the bottom part of the little dog bed. And I'm doing like little half circle marks. I want it to almost look like a Sherpa fabric. So I started with the E51, blended out with the E50, and then I did a second layer of that off screen. And then I'm going to grab a black Sakura Jelly Roll pen to go over the eyes of my pups. Just make them a little bit brighter and shinier after that coloring. And then I'll trim these images out with their matching dyes. For the background, I've taken a panel of Bristol Smooth Surface cardstock and trimmed that down with one of the A2 Stitch Rectangle Stacks Set 2. I also trimmed down a piece of post-it tape into a thin strip and I'm going to put that down in the center of the card and just wrap the tails around the back to hold that in place. On the top part of the scene, I'm going to blend on some Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink. I want it to be a really pale pink background so I'm using minimal pressure and just making sure to continue blending that on until I've reached the level of saturation that I want. So it's kind of getting soft around the edges and then darker towards the center there. And then I'm going to use some gathered twigs to do the floor and I'm going to repeat that same process, just pressing that down, kind of leaving off of the post-it tape and then just using very light pressure to blend that color out and it's going to get softer around the edges and a little bit darker there in the center of the card to mirror the top half. And like I mentioned, I'm making a really conscious effort to be very soft with my pressure. I tend to be a bit heavy handed with the ink blending, but I really wanted a nice soft background. So I'm just continuously dipping into that ink and building up the saturation level, but not pressing down too hard. So once I'm happy with how that's looking, I'm going to leave that mask in place and I'm going to take a small heart stamp from the Positive Vibes stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with some Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide ink and create a little wallpaper background. So I'm going to stamp these little hearts in rows down the back and make sure that I'm also stamping off the edge of the panel and also onto some of that post-it tape. So it really does look like a continuous pattern. And once I am finished with all of those little hearts, then I can peel off that mask and it's gonna give me a little white section across the center that is going to look like the baseboards of the floor. So there's the reveal, then I'll pop this in my Misty so I can stamp my sentiment on the bottom. I'm using Versafine Onyx Black ink because it lays nicely over these Distress Oxides. And I'm choosing the sentiment that says, when times are rough, I can always count on you, which is really sweet, but also has a little bit of a pun in it. So it just makes the recipient smile, I hope. So then I'm going to set that aside to dry and pop my card base in my Misty. And that is made from cement gray cardstock that I scored and folded to a standard A2 size card. So it's five and a half tall by four and a quarter wide. And I'm taking another little dog and the fire hydrant and then the sentiment that says sending positive vibes. Then I'm going to take some of the pretty in plaid 6x6 pattern paper. I'm choosing the pink and white plaid and trimming that down with the largest of the A2 stitch rectangle stacks set two. And then I'm going to adhere that to my card front. So you'll get just the barest sliver of that cement gray cardstock showing through and just kind of frames it up and also ties back into the colors that I used for my little pups. So I'm just making sure that's on there nice and straight and then I'll smooth that down into place. And then I can add my focal panel, which I have popped up with some foam tape. So I'll just peel off the release papers and center that on the card and then press that down into place. 
Then I'm going to start laying out my two largest images to get the placement right on the card. I'm going to add the little dog bed over on the right hand side just below that baseboard and then the larger dog I'm going to add right beside that on the left. So I'm just making sure that there's about the same amount of space from the edge of the dog bed to the right side of that panel and then from the dog's tail to the left side of the panel. Then I'll add the smaller dog so he's sitting right inside the dog bed. Then I'll put the little dog food bowl right below the bed on the right and I'm going to take the bone and kind of cross it over in front just to incorporate everything together in the scene. And then the little tennis ball I'm going to put down in front of the larger dog as if he has brought it to the small dog so that they can play together. I didn't want anything too distracting from these adorable pups, so I decided to embellish the card with just a few sparkling clear sequins and I'm kind of tucking them in around the side of the focal panel and then one overlapping the focal panel on both the top and the bottom of the scene. And I'm just using an embellishment wand to pick up those sequins so that I can set them back down into the glue. And then I'm going to fill in the holes of the sequins with some hibiscus pink stickles. And it's just going to add another little pop of pink to the card. It's very similar to the kitsch flamingo that I used to stamp the little hearts on the wallpaper. So I'm just going to add that and that is going to finish off this card. So I will lift that up so you can see all of the detail, but especially those adorably sweet dogs. And then give you another peek at the inside as well. If you enjoyed this card, please go ahead and hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. And make sure that you subscribe to My Favorite Things for more inspiring videos just like these here on screen. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.